Hey YouTube, I have a rant for you today. Something that I've been seeing more and more that is nothing new, that has existed for a long time, but that is making a resurgence on YouTube fitness. And I think it needs to be stopped or, uh, sooner than later because it, it is going to have a terrible impact on the psyche and overall well-being of everyone involved in this fitness thing, bodybuilding, powerlifting, whatever you want to do. The idea that mental toughness, discipline, motivation are genetic traits that are predetermined at birth is beyond anything I've ever heard. It, it is the worst case of determinism I've ever seen, ever. Because what does it technically mean? It means that if you want to be a winner, you have to be born a winner. It's already bad enough that there are certain people that think that you are born into a predominant role or that you're going to have the genes to be an alpha and if you don't have it, you're going to be a beta for the rest of your life. These things don't come from that. It's, it's something that is built. It's something that you can attribute to cultural status. You can attribute to the, the cards that were given to you when you were a kid. And yes, there's going to be a slight portion of that that's going to be determined by genetics because genetics are important at the end of the day. Being good looking is vastly due to genetics. Being tall, which is seen as a positive trait, is vastly genetic. Not having a disease that's going to kill you within five years is genetic. But everything that goes up here, your strength of mind, your will, your determination, all of that is built a hundred percent because understand also that these are the same people that will tell you that some people are just born stupid and yes there are certain people who are going to be born with malformations who are going to sadly not be able to have a very high cognitive ability but the impact that your education the environment you live in what type of school you're going to the people who push you and encourage you to get an education read books all of that is going to have much more of an influence on whether or not you're going to be what society considers smart. It's the same for motivation and for, for the drive to get it done in the gym. It's insane to me that some people would push the idea that within your DNA exists that, that discipline gene. It's never been proven. I mean, those people are also the type that rely on science a ton, but science has never proven that. Science will never be able to prove that because it doesn't exist. You can take someone who is a complete loser and through training and through self-improvement, that person can become driven and make something out of their life. And it's the same for the gym. No one is born a champion bodybuilder it does not exist you can have the genetics to be good but if you don't apply yourself and you don't actually hit the weights it's never going to happen i have known guys that blow my genetics out of the water who have better insertions better hormonal profile who are have better body fat distributions what have you who are not even one tenth of my level why because they don't apply themselves they don't train training is everything it's what matters because you're making something out of a potential that was given to you. But if you don't do it, you never actually do anything out of that potential. And when people perpetuate ideas like this, always try and figure out why. Why do they do that? Why would someone try to pass out the idea that motivation is a genetic trait? What is the point of that? Well, it's very, once you understand the mentality of these people, it's very easy to, to get, right? To, to wrap your hand around it. That's something that people say to make themselves look better. That's also the entire point of people who love talking about genetics. Because when you think about it, what does it do? When you talk about genetics, what is the point? Are you going to use that to help people? In the YouTube fitness community, that's not what it's used for. It's used for two things. A, make people who have quote unquote 
good genetics, feel better about themselves because they feel like they were born better and B, make people who were born with bad genetics feel bad about themselves. That's it. This is all there is to it, right? I never hear anyone say, oh, yes, pay attention to your genetics because it's going to determine the type of diet you need to eat. It's going to play a role on which body parts you prioritize. Never. It never goes down to that. It's always, oh, yeah, well, if you don't have the genetics, just give up because it's never going to happen. Or, oh, well, if you have the good genetics, then you don't even have to work hard. You're just going to look good. It's toxic on both ends of the spectrum. And again, the idea, I'm not going to cite names. If you find the people I'm talking about, great. But the, the people who like to pass out the idea is that, oh, you're born an alpha or, or you're, you're going to be born with the potential and the motivation. Do these people do that because it, it basically promotes them as supreme beings. And that's, that's something that's been done for centuries. Like kings back in Europe used to do that back in the day. They used to say, oh, I was chosen by God. Like this is my God-given destiny. No, there's no such thing. There's no such thing as destiny and there's no such thing as faith. You make it. Your actions determine where you go. The action of working on your body every day is going to then lead to having a great body. It is not determined by birth. It's stupid to say that. And it's all the more stupid because most of these people, if you go back in time, you're going to find times in their life where they were pathetic, weak and small like the rest of us. Because that's what being a man is. You are born on this earth and then it's up to you to do what you want to make it. Whatever making it is for you. But if you're in that fitness world that is the, this environment we exist in, then you know what that goal is going to be. It's going to become big and strong. And that motivation to become big and strong already exists within you just because you want to be big and strong. You don't have to have that motivation DNA or whatever that means. I was not motivated when I was younger, when I was 13 or 14. I had to find that motivation. And I find that the more I work on myself, the more that motivation grows. And now it's part of me. But it's a, it's a discipline that I had to nourish and I had to, to, to feed and grow because I knew it was going to carry me for the rest of my life. And these guys know it too deep down. But they're at the point where their discipline and all the work that they had to do is already done. And they don't really worry or care to share that with other people who might not have done that work yet. Which is partially disgusting because most of these people have young audience, especially young males, who need to hear that. Who need to hear that, yes, they can make it, but they need to work hard. When they are told by, by their idol that, oh, no, no, I was born a champion. That's why I'm the reason I'm like this today. This is nonsense, but it's perpetrated by these people. And then their audience latches onto that because they are not as big, not as strong, and they've been just told that hard work does nothing, so why even bother? And then these people cope, and they become the type of toxic people that use the same excuse and basically make it their life model where they find reasons to explain why they never could make it. They would say, oh, I'm not big, but it's genetics. Or now with that new thing, oh, I'm not, I, I skip my workouts, but it's because I wasn't born motivated. I wasn't born disciplined. What? No one is born disciplined. You become that. Some people are lucky and their parents are going to try and teach that to them when they're young. But even if you don't get that, I didn't get that for the most part, not for lifting and sports at least. You can find it in yourself because it is in every single person. It is something that can be found. And there's uh, also a delicious irony and it's laughable to see that some of the men that push these ideals either used to be in the same shoes as these people that they're talking down to, meaning that they know that they've been down in the gutters before or they're on PED. And if you are on PED and you peddle the idea that, oh, I'm so driven, I was, I was born ready. You weren't. You are injecting hormones that make you feel motivated. 
if these hormones were taken away, these guys would wither down and fall into the deepest depression you've ever seen in your life within a month. So the fact that they are the ones pushing these ideas is even worse. It's, it's the double whammy of hypocrisy and of toxicity because they are just hurting people for fun at this point because we've went through so many phases that now people are basically buying into determinism a hundred percent as if your life was decided the day you were born that's not the case it'll never be the case it makes no sense humans have the most freedom of any species on earth we get to decide what we do with our lives and if we fail it's on us it's on no one else you don't get to excuse your behavior or your lack of results because oh uh, i didn't have the right genes so what even if you don't have them you can still make the most of them so yeah that's pretty much it for my rant but i already i'm going to fight on this channel against the notion that if you want to do something great with your body you have to have the, gene the genetics i think it's it's nonsense i think that the natural limit does not exist and on top of that that new idea that the mental capacity you're going to be able to develop was predetermined at birth is just the epitome of the stupidity that surrounds that mentality that is a used by narcissists and egoistical figures to feed their ego and make themselves feel better like they were chosen by god to do what they do or by people who need excuses to explain the fact that they never do anything great so that's pretty much it if you're on this channel you better be motivated because this is a hundred percent what it's about Thank you and have a good day.